today, October 10th, don't forget. Can you tell I'm a Hufflepuff? Yes, Hufflepuff pride. Okay guys, I wanna do this game, I'm so excited! <laughs> First of all, do you like Harry Potter? Let me know in the eye. Do you like Game of Thrones? Let me know in the eye. I also ask you on Twitter, boop, boop, but most of you don't have Twitter, so I wanted to ask you also here on my channel. Anyway, I love both of them. And last week I went to a convention. Don't worry, it's gonna be a short story. Don't click away, wait a second. So I went to this convention and I wanted to cosplay Daenerys, but I didn't have the whole costume ready. Oh my gosh, come crunch. So I was like, okay, I still wanna be Daenerys. Maybe I should do a casual Daenerys, but that was boring. So I had this idea, this mashup that I've been never done. Never, I checked guys, I checked. If you check the hashtag, Slithering Daenerys. I told you what I did. Whatever. Okay, so the mashup is Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. And I decided that Daenerys is a Slytherin. So I dressed as Slytherin Daenerys. It was a success! I loved it! And I started thinking, oh my gosh, in which house would I put the other characters of Game of Thrones? And this is the game we're playing today. I am so excited. And let's start. So I asked you on Twitter to suggest some characters. And now I'm gonna put them in their houses. Yes. Okay, so let's start with Daenerys. Okay, Daenerys for me is a Slytherin. Why? I don't see Slytherins like, oh, they're the evil ones, whatever, whatever. No, they are ambitious. That's their goal. They wanna get somewhere and they don't care how they're gonna get there because they wanna get there. That's how they are. And Daenerys is like that. She would do stuff that is not good sometimes to get to her goal because for her the goal is more important than how you get to the goal and the only reason why she's not messing up <laughs> everything is because she has around people that stop her from being too impulsive but I think her nature is a slithering nature let me know in the comments if you agree next character okay next character we have Tyrion oh my gosh Okay, Tyrion. Tyrion, for me, is a Ravenclaw. I see Ravenclaws like the unique minds. They're not just the nerds that they like books and stuff like that. No, I think they're the unique minds and I think Tyrion is super smart, has a really interesting way of thinking, so I think he is a Ravenclaw. Next! Okay. You guys said Sandor. Oh, Sandor! Sandor! Ah, oh, this is so hard! Sandor. He is brave. Is he a Gryffindor or a Slytherin? Because he could be... He could be a Slytherin or a Gryffindor. I'm not sure. I want to put him in Gryffindor. Yes. And you guys tell me what you think. Next! Arya! Okay, so Arya is... The perfect Gryffindor. So I see Gryffindor people as the brave, but also the mischiefs <laughs> a little bit. They're also ambitious and determined, but their goal is not a selfish goal. This is how I differentiate them from Slytherin. Usually their goal is the greater good, okay? So they're like, for the greater good, I'm willing to, you know, do stuff, bend the rules a little bit. That's how they are. And I think Arya, she's like that. So, Arya for me is a Gryffindor. Next, uh, Jamie! Jamie for me is between Gryffindor and Hufflepuff because Hufflepuffs are loyal. That's the most important thing for Hufflepuffs to be loyal and just fair to everybody and also really, really hardworking people. But I think he is more a Gryffindor than a Hufflepuff. I mean, he is loyal to his family, but I think he's more a Gryffindor. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Next, Jon Snow, guys. Jon, my boyfriend. <laughs> so Jon Snow, thinking about how he acted in the last episodes. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you anything. But I'm just saying, in the last episodes, he didn't act for the greater good. He was acting because he was loyal to someone or something, okay? For example, a Gryffindor would lie a little bit to achieve the greater good, okay? But a Hufflepuff wouldn't lie if that's betraying a person or something he, she is loyal to. So I think Jon Snow is a Hufflepuff. Welcome to the club! <laughs> I'm so excited. Let me know if you disagree or you agree in the comments. Next! Sansa! Okay, Sansa, Sansa for me is a Ravenclaw because she has a unique mind and I think she is one of those characters that 
changed so much during the season, especially in her way of thinking. So I think she's a rebel pro. Yes. Next, Cersei. Okay, Cersei is the perfect Slytherin. She has a goal and she doesn't care what she needs to do to get to the goal. So she's a Slytherin. That's easy for me. Easy peasy. And another character that you guys didn't suggest, but I want to mention because he is the Hufflepuff, without a doubt, is Sam. Sam, so loyal, so hardworking. Aww, he's a Hufflepuff. Welcome to the club! <laughs> and that's it. I think I talked about a lot of characters in this first episode. I'm gonna show you a summary of what we talked about in this episode. Now it's your turn! So you can either A, tell me if you agree or disagree with my choices, B, suggest more characters from Game of Thrones if you wanna see another episode, D, if you don't follow Game of Thrones, you can suggest other characters of other fandoms, for example, Disney, video games, anime, Suggest whatever you want in the comments below. I'm having so much fun with this game. This is all I talk about with my friends lately. So I would love to have this conversation with you guys. My birthday is coming soon. Too soon. Too soon, guys. I'm not ready. I don't know if I want to have a Harry Potter birthday party or maybe a Game of Thrones birthday party. What do you guys think I should do? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see that in October. A lot of videos about trying stuff are coming up. I am filming them. I'm eating so much, guys. <laughs> I cannot wait to release those videos. And I checked. My most liked video has 43,000 likes. That's my record. Can we break the record? Let me know. Guys, like, like this video. It's almost my birthday. That's my excuse today. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video and had fun as much as I had fun. As always, I say hi to all the people who tweeted me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!